This certainly is a video that I'm going to remember all of my life. Oh my god. Hi! Welcome to my channel. My name is Anyosh Kanya, and in this YouTube channel, you're going to be learning about 3D modeling with Blender. I'm so excited because this is the first of a series of videos that I'm going to be creating in order for you to learn about 3D modeling using Blender. Today I'm going to show you how to create grass in Blender. I hope you find it fun, I hope you learn a lot and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. That will help me a lot and I would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So in this video, I'm going to show how to create grass. In order to get started, I'm going to first delete this default cube over here and I'm going to press Shift A and add a plane. Once I added this plane, I'm going to go to this particle systems over here. I'm going to click on add and I'm going to click on a hair particle system. Now we can see that we have some large hair strands on top of the plane. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to click on advance. I'm going to lower the hair length a little bit for it to look more like grass. Let's say 0.2, for example. I'm also going to increase the amount of strands that I can see on the screen. I'm going to type 5000. And now we have like nice neatly cut grass. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the physics tab go to this option called Brownian. In this Brownian option, if I increase it, I can see that the strands become more grass-like. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the grass material color, go to this material tab, press new, and I'm going to type grass. Go into texture mode, change the color to a greenish type of grass, such as this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to separate these grass strands from the plane. You go to the modifiers tab, click on convert. And now when I press G and separate the grass, I can see that the grass has been separated from the plane. Apply the modifier on the plane so that the other grass doesn't appear on the bottom. And now I can see that I have the grass separated from the plane. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to convert it into mesh in order for it to be exportable to any other game engine. Go into object, convert to and corp. Now I can see that each grass strand has been converted into an individual corp. Go into front view by pressing numpad 1, select the bottom part of the grass like this. Press delete, vertices, and now I can see that my grass has been neatly cut from below the plane. I'm also going to cut these grass strands over here. It really depends on your taste of what grass you would like to have for your environment. I'm going to leave it like this for now. Also, I'm going to cut this over here and this one's over here. Select these curves that I create and I'm going to go into this option over here. You go to geometry and I'm going to increase the depth of these curves. When I increase the depth of these curves, I can see that each individual curve has been increased from its depth and we can see them individually separated like this. I'm going to type 0 0.001 and I believe this uh, type of shape is more adequate for this type of grass. I'm also going to press on this option that it's called fill caps so that I can see each grass strand filled at the top of each uh, strand. Press Object, Convert to, and Mesh. And now I have these curves converted into individual meshes like this. I'm also going to add the color to these 
grass strands and now I can see that I have my quick, fast, low poly individual grass. I'm going to just place the camera by control alt numpad zero, put it like this, add a light, a sun type of lamp like this and I'm going to type it strength to two. When I get into render view, I can see that now I see my grass strands better and clearer. And when I press render, I can see that now I have my final render of quick low poly grass. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you in the next video.